In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can use Grasshopper to read reports that you've created in Symantec for Rhino. This can be helpful, especially if you want to use document properties that you've created as part of your Symantec property set to control variables in your Grasshopper script. In the example here, we have document properties set up for tower controls. And if I open the report manager, you can see that we have a report created that we're calling the GH remote control. This report is reading the values that are set in this document properties manager. So as you make adjustments here, it is adjusting the results of the report. In Grasshopper, you can navigate to the Proving Ground tab and find the semantic tool set. You can scroll down to the semantic report option. When you drag it onto the canvas, it will ask you to select a query that's already been created from the report manager. We'll select the GH remote control. You can see that it's reading out the same document properties that we've set. One thing that you'll notice is that it says Rhino silenced on the bottom. Let me show you what that means. We'll add a panel to one of these fields so that you can see the result that's coming through. So number of floors is set to 14. And in Rhino, the number of floors is set to 14. You can see under my cursor. If I change the number of floors with Rhino silenced, nothing changes. So what we want to do is right click on the panel and uncheck Rhino silenced. This will change it to active listening. So now whenever you change any of your, you could be sliders, it could be individual values. But whenever you change these values, the value will also change in Grasshopper. I rigged up an example just so you can see how this works. So here is the tower form that's being created by these document properties. You can adjust these sliders or any of these variables. And without making any changes in Grasshopper, the script is reading out those values and able to return those results.